The Electoral Commission has engaged senior editors of media houses to explain the need for a new biometric voter management system and voter register for the December 7 general elections. A deputy chairperson of the commission in charge of Operation Samuel Tete and the IT consultant to the commission, Dr. Yao Ofori Eje, spoke with me after the encounter. Everything sets to roll out. What are the timelines the Electoral Commission is looking at starting the registration process? So um, what we can say with the timelines is that this is not the first time that the Electoral Commission is undertaking registration or compilation of a register in an election year. In 2012, we compiled a new voters register and then in 2016, we also did a limited voter registration exercise, all in the election year. Per the calendar of the commission or the program of activities, the current registration is slated for April. Prior to that, the commission will undertake recruitment of our officials. Definitely, we also have the biometric exercise uh, equipment that will be used for the registration. So we have to take delivery of the equipment, do some pilot testing, and then find out whether they are very good as we have anticipated, you know, uh, looking at the criteria and all that. Definitely there should be some pilot testing and all that. All these things will be done. So per the calendar of the commission, we will start the registration in April, but prior to that, there will be recruitment, mm. there will be training, there will be deployment of materials and and, uh, and testing of the equipment and, also. And, 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 and if we are starting in April, what period, is it a one month exercise, two month exercise, or we are very likely to probably even do the entire country in a few weeks? What the commission has prepared is this we are going to use what we call the cluster system. What it means is that the registration is going to be done at every polling station. When we say the cluster, we are going to merge four polling stations and assign one biometric verification kit, a registration kit to it. So the commission will use a period of 10 days for each polling station. So the first police station will spend 10 days, then they move to the second police station, it will spend 10 days, and then the third, and then the fourth. Mm. So with equipment of 8,000, and with um, a police station of uh, 30, let's make it about 32,000, mm. conveniently, within 40 days, the 8,000 equipment will cover all the 32,000 police stations. And we will um, use about five or six days to do some sort of mopping up. So areas where they were unwieldy, areas where the commission thought that the people were not captured, there were some who were not captured, then we will use the mopping up period to do that. Okay. Now let's uh, come to the concern being raised by some the legalities of undertaking this exercise. Uh, we know that in 2012, we had to rely on a CI, a constitutional instrument, to undertake the exercise. And you mentioned that in 2016, it was more like a limited exercise that we do. It, even that it needed a, a, a CI. Do we need a CI for this major compilation? And has that clearance already been given by parliament? Thank you very much. Um, if you look at the CI 91, which is on registration. Um, we don't need a new CI because the CI captures exactly what the Commission wants to do. If you look at the fingerprint, if you look at what we call, and let me quote, mm. under interpretation section of regulation 32 CI 91, Biometric information has been defined to mean electronic template derived from the measurement and analysis of unique human body characteristics, including fingerprints, facial cuttings, 
eye redness mm. and irises and thumb print measurement for the purpose of establishing a person's identity. Okay. So you find out that the CI-91 has already captured the facial recognition that we want to yes, add on to the fingerprint. The fingerprint is already captured. So, 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 so legally you have the backing of the constitution yes, to undertake the exercise? Precisely. Legally. So even if we had not added the facial recognition, you know, we wouldn't even need a new what? CI. Because the CI-91 is in place. And fortunately, the facial aspect is captured in the CI-91. Uh, briefly, uh, the Electoral Commission has given justifiable reasons why they need to get a new register. Why is it, and then to the layman, why can't we just upgrade what we have and then maybe get new machines to, for that system to work on it? Okay, so essentially there are two things. We can't upgrade what we have because it's not possible. Let me put it that way. You see, take the, for example the BVDs. It's like you are saying you want a Nokia 3310 to be upgraded to a Samsung Galaxy S10. Mm. It's not practical. You can't do that. Right. Similarly, if you look at the software itself, there, there, are, there are problems that are inherent with the, the software that runs the whole system. And that makes it difficult for us to uh, upgrade or use. So if, for instance, if you look at the format in which the fingerprints, which we all use to verify, the format in which it is stored in is an proprietary format. By proprietary, we mean that the, the way the, the data was encoded or was generated it's known only to the person who, made, who did it. So it's not exportable, we can't use it in any format. And that's the, the difficulty that we have. So we are not discarding the data that we have in the database. Basically what you are saying is that we use it, but we use it without those features and then add on to it. Yeah. And finally, the concern of the timelines we are working with. There are those who say, you, you just said that when we go to the police stations, we can just submit our cards, those exactly. whose data has already been captured. Exactly. Help us understand that process. If I'm already a registered voter. If you're already a registered voter and you present to a registration officer, all you need to do is to show him your voter ID card. We will take your voter ID number, which is unique to every voter, and then extract your data from it. Okay? We'll do certain checks to ensure that you are the person that you say you are, and then the next thing we do is that we capture your, your picture and your 10 fingerprints and we print a, car a new card for you and you're on your way. So it is as simple as that, so you don't need to ask questions about your mother, your no, no, father? No, 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 because you already have that data. Alright, so uh, that uh, meeting ended a few moments ago, let's say about a few hours ago, where the EC tried to justify and uh, convincingly so, why the nation needs a new voters register. Let's go to the phone lines now because earlier today we were told that some civil society organizations had a few concerns. Uh, specifically, the Ghana Anti Corruption Coalition described as defective the justification by the Electoral Commission to compile a new voters register, comprising over 20 civil society groups. The coalition is of the view that the country does not need a new register. And uh, we've been joined on the phone lines by George. Osei Bimpe, he is the country director for Send Ghana, one of the uh, CSOs um, that clearly are uh, at variance with the EC's position. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Good evening, Martin. Uh, to, to start with, um, the EC is well, well bent on undertaking the exercise. What exactly is the CSO's position and what do you not understand regarding a new voters register? Well, th th thank you very much. Um, as we stated in our statement, our position is that we do not think and we do not support a new voters register for one of the follow. I mean, for the following reasons. One, we think that, or we see that the issue is making a technical argument or technical issue as a major uh, reason or motivation for a new voters register. Right. But um, in doing that, they seem to rely on the advice on just a single vendor. And we think that you cannot make such a decision by Raising your um, your your reasons on advice of a, a single vendor, 
a vendor that you have already even discredited. And so such a decision could have been arrived at by depending on the expertise of at least one or two the uh, you know independent are you, are you question uh, mr bimpe if you say a, a single vendor mm -hmm. who are you referring to is it the one whose I, system we are, the, we are leaving the, or the new one that we are moving to the, you know the stl you know they make reference to the stl correspondence in which the stl for example uh, advice that uh, the, the the BVL, for example, if they want new one, could be purchased at five thousand uh, hundred and forty five dollars, or if they want the BVL refurbished, mm -hmm. they could do so at three thousand five hundred dollars. If you look at the BVDs, uh, the STL advised that they could get new one at nine hundred and uh, $17 for brand new ones, right. or uh, $244 for um, um, uh, refurbished ones. And we think that you cannot make a, a major decision, a technical argument like that, by relying on a single vendor's opinion. You, have, you are saying so this on authority, I, I, I presume, because the Electoral Commission said that they consulted widely on arriving at the decision that the country needed a new voters register. It's not just a single no, no. No, vendor, like you're saying. No, it's widely per the documents that are available, mm -hmm. apart from the STL that they have mentioned categorically, which, uh, which other ones, I mean, when you were interviewing him, did you ask him which other ones? I mean, it is so easy to say that we have consulted widely, but it will be very important for you as a journalist to ask who they have consulted. Mm -hmm. And there are documents available, they only make mention of the STL. If there is any other, let us know, and let, them know, let, let, let us know which uh, other ones they consulted and what were the specific recommendations. Okay, but, but quite apart from that, and the single vendor, how about the reasoning? Is it that it could be a single vendor, yes, but then the reasoning is also not justified? Or you think that because yes, it is it, just one person, it does not hold yes, enough water it, for, to advise them to go ahead? Yes, it is not because um, we think that the issue the issue should be conversing for uh, the market for the cost rather than to rely on you know what the vendor say. Okay, they should be conversing for the uh, for the market for the cost rather than uh, for, you know for the cost of this equipment. But let's move to some of the other reasons so that it's not only about this. It is also not, we do not believe, and it is not true, that uh, we need to throw away um, all the BVLs and the BVDs. Mm. We have information, and this has not been disputed. Today, when we made the issue, we put it before them, that only in 2015, we spent four, uh, $4 million to, you know, to replace some of the uh, 40 BVLs and BVDs. Okay. So even if some of them are faulty, we cannot say that all the BVRs and BVDs are faulty. There may be some that are faulty. So all that we need to do is to have a good understanding of those that are faulty right. and just replace them. Rather okay. than to say we are throwing all of them away. It is also not true. And this is not something that we are conjecturing. All right. Because Thank we you. Have also um, that extensive Thank you so much for at least making time to speak with us. George Osei Bimpe is the country director for Send Ghana. And uh, looks as if this particular topic would uh, linger for some days to come. But clearly the AC um, has given justification why they need to uh, get the country to re-register. And as you heard earlier, by way of education, if you're already an existing, uh, you've already registered, you just need to take your card to the center and then your data will be captured, just your biometrics. You don't have to re-answer all the questions regarding your father, your grandfather, your hometown. All of that is already in the system. They just need your, your ID number, and then they'll take your biometrics.